times of high network traffic can be a real drag, literally. If you're looking to prioritize traffic types and improve network congestion, you've come to the right place. In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll show you how to configure WAN queuing on the RV260, next. The internet traffic coming from LAN to WAN on the device can be managed in three modes, rate control, priority, and low latency. We can choose one. Before we begin configuring WAN queuing, we'll head over to QoS and the Traffic Class tab. Here, we've created our different types of traffic classes. They are voice, data, and a switch. It's now time to start configuring. We'll click on WAN queuing first. Here, we'll set our queuing engine as priority. We chose this option because it's used when all queues need a minimum guaranteed bandwidth. The bandwidth will then be served from the highest to the lowest priority. Next, we'll keep things moving and click on the Add icon to create our new policy. Our first few options allow us to name our new policy and enter a description. We'll hop down to the queuing priority table next. It's time to prioritize. Here, we'll rank our traffic classes. For this example, we'll choose voice as our highest priority, data as our high priority, our switch as our medium priority, and finally, the default as our lowest priority. We'll go ahead and click Apply. We can now see a message underneath the WAN queuing table that lets us apply the WAN queuing policy on the WAN interfaces. We'll click that message. Here, we can change our WAN's outbound queuing policy to the policy we just created. We don't need to worry about the inbound policing. We'll just keep that as default. We'll go ahead and apply our changes. Voila! Our policy has now been added to the WAN. Traffic will now be prioritized according to the policy we just created. It's that simple. That is how you configure WAN queuing on the RV260. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.